The year was 1919. On June 4th, Congress passed the 19th Amendment, which would give women the right to vote. The 19th Amendment needed 36 states to vote yes in order to make it a federal amendment. Slowly, states began to ratify the amendment until just one final vote was needed. As the summer of 1920 approached, Tennessee became a battleground state and was considered the deciding vote. Groups lobbying for and against the 19th Amendment started gathering in Nashville. Anti-suffragist leader Josephine Pearson considered it a fight for the soul of Tennessee. Major suffragist leaders from all across the United States came to Tennessee, including Carrie Chapman Catt, joined by Tennessee suffragist leaders, Lizzie Crozier French, Anne Dallas Dudley, and Sue Shelton White. Knoxville politician Harry Byrne planned to vote against ratifying the amendment. But then he received a letter from his mother encouraging him to vote for suffrage. Byrne faced a moral dilemma. To vote against the amendment and stay faithful to his anti-constituents or remain faithful to the wishes of his mother. On August 18, 1920, when the clerk called his name to vote, Byrne said, I. He cast his ballot for women's suffrage and cast the P ballot in the vote that made the 19th Amendment the supreme law of the land. It was the culmination of seven decades of effort by women all across the country.